We're going into the South region trying to make these picks to see who can go along with Iowa and Colorado in the Final Four. Baylor hardly knew her. They going to beat your boys, Hartford, Tim? Yes, as much as I'm down on the Bears and don't think they're the think they're the most one of the most poorly coached teams in the in the draw, I will be taking them one round and that that at least we'll see who you guys like in the next round. But yeah, I'll take them this round for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen her. I'll say this: UMass didn't make the tournament, but UMass Lowell, uh, which is a borderline creative school, they played Hartford. <laughs> but they played Hartford for the right to get crushed by Baylor, and they lost. But Hartford is going to be dismantled in many, many ways. Uh, that okay? So we're going to go with Baylor, and they'll be facing the winner of North Carolina as an eight seed and Wisconsin as a nine seed. Uh, is there anything I can do to just be like, I don't want to take North Carolina because everyone's going to take North Carolina? And you know, Wisconsin. It, what's that? Yeah. Is in the better conference. UNC is not that good. I don't like UNC to begin with. I really hope they get crushed. And uh, yeah, I like the Badgers here. Uh, well, like I've said before, Ben, that I haven't seen a second of college basketball, but I bet you I know how Wisconsin plays. Is it yeah, the same as do. every year? They have like two big yeah. white guys at like center and power forward. They run out the clock on every possession and rebound really well. Yeah, that, that sums it up. A couple of things. Their starting lineup is older than the Bulls starting lineup. They've got <laughs> guys that are like 28. I don't know how. And they get the thing that's weird. They just get absolutely mauled inside. And that's why I'm a little worried. North Carolina is a really good rebounding team. And I think their bigs are going to really push Wisco's bigs around. And that for that reason, I probably lean to North Carolina. I don't think either of these teams are that good, though. Uh, the betting line right now from DraftKings Sportsbook, North Carolina is favored by two and a half points as the AT. But I don't like North Carolina, so I'm going to take Wisconsin. Villanova and Winthrop. This is the one everybody has as a 12-5 upset, I bet. Now, I've asked, like, you this, I wouldn't be- I've asked you this question for the past 10 years in a row, Tim, <laughs> so you have to answer it for me. Is Scotty Reynolds still on Villanova? I, I believe so as a, uh, as a junior assistant. I mean, you, people can tell from our conversation that we stopped super following college <laughs> basketball closely in, like, 2010. <laughs> <laughs> So all of our references are now at least 10 years old. <laughs> uh, six and a half point favorites over Winthrop in this game. Uh, one thing that I do know about the bracket every year, Ben, though, is fade the popular upset pick. Yeah, everybody. Listen, Winthrop, cool team. They only have one loss, but I I don't know about this. And the other side, Villanova lost Connor Galipsy. He's yes. there all everything point guard, and that's very bad for them. It's going to cost them long term. I don't think it's going to cost them in this game, though. Uh, Yeah, I'm inclined to take the Wildcats, too. I trust the coaching staff and Jay Wright and the infrastructure there in a tight spot. I I, I kind of like Nova, too. Yeah, no Gillespie. Hurt, still talented, but it's a very thin line for them. In these rankings, they actually rate out as ninth, where Winthrop is outside the top 55. So, yeah, give give me Villanova. I'll just write down Nova. That makes it so much easier for me. Purdue and North Texas. I think we've taken a 13 seed upset in every region so far. Are we going with North Texas and another one, Ben? No, I watched this team last night and uh, they had seven points in the second half <laughs> until right at the end and they won the game in overtime. One of the, uh, we all lost in that game in one way or another. I'm just going to take Purdue to, to get the job done here. Uh, North yep, Texas, Boilermakers for me. North Texas rates out 44th in this. In Conference USA, they were able to create shots without the help of good passing metrics. Uh, then that's not going to work against high-level competition. I guess the question is, is Purdue high-level competition? Well, I mean, I'm on Team Big Ten, and I think Ben is too. So, Yeah, I mean, Purdue's got absolute monsters on the inside. They've got several seven-foot. They always have, like, giant people. I don't know what they do in West Lafayette, but a lot of big people there. Uh, they're going to cause major problems. They, they got to do it for Drew Brees too. <laughs> 